Okay, this is Cindy Shelton again, and I'm uh, going through your midterm study guide, helping you review for your midterm exam. And I'm on number 13 of the study guide, and which leads us to chapter 5, which is, are your exponent rules and using scientific notation. We only do the one section out of chapter 5, it's 5, 6. So I'm going to go through, uh, review some of the exponent rules with you that you need to be familiar with. If you have any base to a power times that same base to a power, you can bring the base over and add the exponents. When you multiply like bases, the exponents add. So that's what we do in number 14 on your study guide. 5 to the 3rd times 5 to the 2nd will be the same as 5 to the 3 plus 2, 5 to the 5th. Again, like bases with multiplication, add the exponents. But Math Excel asks you to go the next step and work that out. 5 raised to the 5th, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, multiplied out as 3,125. 3, now I prefer you use your exponent button and do 5 raised to the 5th, which on your calculator either looks like a little up arrow, 5 to the 5th, or an x to the y button. Some of you have an x to the y exponent function, so do locate that on your calculator and verify the 3,125. Okay, another rule is the power rule. When you have an exponent to an exponent, those exponents multiply. So x squared raised to the third would multiply to x to the sixth. Uh, we use that rule on number 16 of your study guide. The two to the fourth raised to the fifth exponents to exponents, so they multiply, so that's two raised to the twentieth. Again, Math Excel asks you to work it the rest of the way out. So two raised to the twentieth, definitely want to use your calculator for that to verify that answer. Uh, another rule which may come up later is anything raised to the zero is one. Check that out on your calculator. Take any base to the zero power, it is always one. Uh, the next one is the division or quotient rule, which says if you have like bases, the exponents subtract. So like bases, five minus two makes x to the third. Um, and another one that you'll use is the negative exponent rule. If you have a base raised to a negative exponent, that's like division. It moves that to the denominator and makes the exponent positive. So x to the negative 1 is 1 over x to the positive 1. It makes it a fraction. And we use that rule on number 15 of your study guide. 3 to the negative second power means 1 over 3 to the positive second. So again, moves it to the denominator. 3 squared is 9, so it's 1 naught. Um, the other one up here, number 13, is just using an exponent. One-third squared means one-third times one-third. One-third times one-third is one-ninth. Or you could think of it as being one squared and the three is squared. Both parts of the fraction get squared. One squared is still one. Three squared is nine. Um, okay, down to number 17. So we move to scientific notation. A lot of times numbers are extremely large or extremely small and scientific notation gives us a more um, uh, concise way to express that number. So it says right 793,000 in scientific notation. Scientific notation should have the number between 0 and 1 with 1 included. So, so the number we use should be less than 10 but greater than or equal to 1. Uh, so we want to move the decimal point. I think I said between 0 and 1. I meant to say between 1 and 10. Uh, so we want to move the decimal point in your problem wherever it needs to go to make that number work out to fit this rule. So right now the decimal's at the end. If the decimal was between the 7 and 9, it'd be 7.93, and you could write out the zeros, but that kind of defeat the purpose. So just write it to the last significant digit. Um, and then say how many places did you move your decimal point? I moved it one, two, three, four, five places. So that would be times 10 to the fifth. When you move your decimal from the uh, right side to the left, it's a positive move, a positive exponent. Uh, the next problem, number 18. This time the problem is small and we want to move the decimal over to the right to make it fit this between one and 10 rule. So 3.7, see, would fit that rule. 3.7 times 10 to the how many places did you move your decimal? It was here, so 1, 2, 3, 4. But this time it will be a negative exponent since we moved the decimal the other direction. Number 19, we go the other way and take this out of scientific notation. Oh, my problem has a 6 there. 
uh, you can do this on your calculator and see that it's true. 10 to the 6 means a 1 with 6 zeros. It means um, a million. So 6.15 times a million, you know that's going to make it bigger. It's moving the decimal point back over to the right. So this is how many places you move this decimal point. So to the right, six places. There's three, four, five, six. So it makes it 615, four zeros, like so. Number 20, another one similar to that, only we have a negative exponent. So if you check 10 to the negative fifth, it's like dividing. Just like uh, earlier when we talked about negative exponents, basically means division. You put it down the denominator. So because it's a negative exponent, it moves the decimal the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Again, it's counting from wherever your decimal is. So five places back adds in four zeros. So it looks like that. And that's considered decimal notation. This is scientific notation. This is considered decimal notation. Okay, number 21. We use a combination of scientific notation and our exponent rules that we talked about earlier. But actually, you can do these just on your calculator, and I would know the difference. But what they were going for here is for you to use your exponent rules that said if you're multiplying, this is just all times, by the way. That's a multiplication sign. That is, that is. It's just a string of multiplication. So we can multiply in any order. So 2.5 times 6, we could do that on our calculator. 2.5 times 6.0, and I have that. It is uh, 15. And then 10 to the negative 8 and 10 to the 6, we could use our exponent rule that says when you multiply with like bases, you add the exponent. So negative 8 plus 6 would make negative 2. So this would be the answer, um, not exactly in scientific notation, but with your uh, 10 power. Then the negative 2 exponent moves the decimal two places, remember, to the left. The decimal right now is understood to be at the end, so 2 left would make that a 0 0.15 since the acid is to work it all the way out. Another one uh, with that in mind, number 22 is a division problem. And once again, I, I just, uh, I know that you could just do these on your calculator and I wouldn't know the difference of the method you got there, but the idea of this problem was to practice the exponent rules and to see that you could divide the 6 by 3 and get 2. And then dividing with like bases, the rule was you subtract the exponent, so 6 minus negative 3. Again, if you're dividing like bases, you can subtract top minus bottom. 6 minus negative 3 makes that a plus 3 or 9. So that's 2 times 10 to the 9th. 10 to the 9th is a large number. That's a 9 zeros on that. And then times the 2. So that moves the decimal 9 places. Here's your decimal to the right. So it basically adds 9 zeros onto that 2. So it looks like that. Uh, one more, number 23, is an application problem. It says, in my example, it says in 2005, the total waste generated in a certain country was, and they give this in scientific notation, 9.394 times 10 to the 7th pounds. Also in 2005, the country's population is a particular problem. The country's population is 7.85 times 10 to the 5th people. So the question is, determine the garbage per capita or per person in that country in the year 2005. So basically what they're asking you to do is a division here to see how this divides out to be a per person. Anytime they say the word per something, it's usually a division problem. That's your indicator word. So we're wanting to do a per one person. And this is our people at this point population. So we want to divide by that. So it's going to be similar to what I just did in 22. If you do it by uh, the method I talked about earlier, you can take this divided by this. And it comes out to be... 1.2, I need my calculator to tell you more precisely, 9.394 divided by 7.85 is 1 point, actually I've already rounded, 1.196687, it goes on a little more. And then dividing the tens, subtracting the exponents makes 10 squared. So that means I would move the decimal, 
move the decimal over two places, or let's see, how does it say to express it? Um, use scientific notation. So it wants me to leave it in scientific notation, but round this number to the nearest two decimal, round to two decimal places. So the nine, so we want to have two places, the nine rounds that up to a two, so it becomes 1.2 times 10 to the second. Let me double check, that's the way they wanted the answer express. So with just the two uh, significant digits in that problem. All right, and that concludes your chapter five information, scientific notation and the exponent.